In order to review, report, and build a roster for your class from the acquisition session, let's open up Analyzer by double-clicking the icon on your desktop and clicking on the class name you'd like to open. Analyzer can be your gradebook and reporting tool, or it can report to your school gradebook or content management system. For this example, we ask several questions from the acquisition session on three different class dates. The default grading is a participation points scale and is set to three for a correct answer, one for an incorrect answer, and zero points for no answer. So this is your answer key. You can view overall class performance and assign or modify correct answers. If I click on the question here, I can modify the correct answer and assign different point values for this specific question. Or you can load an answer key to globally assign correct answers to all the questions at once. You can change the point values by going to Options, Answer Key, and this palette lets you set point values for all questions and many other user preference setup options. For tests, quizzes, and homework, you may want to use a percentage grade, which you can do here also. There's a lot more options to setting up the Answer Key window to your preference. You'll learn more about these as you use the system. Let's move on to the roster. Okay, let's build a roster to associate remote IDs to student names. Click on the Roster tab. We can see that Analyzer automatically collects the remote IDs when they have answered at least one question, so you'll never have to type in remote ID numbers. Although assigning a name is optional and can be done at any time, if you want to grade and report student responses, you'll want to include their name in the roster. There are many ways you can add student names and other student information to the roster. The simplest way is just to type in your name here. Although this is easy, it may be time consuming if you have a class full of 500 students. I've already told you about another easy way in our Creating a Class video by having students use their multi-digit remote and send in their name using their remote. Analyzer can directly load this into your roster. Another basic way is to copy and paste a pre-made roster you may already have for your class into a hit roster. You should first remember to always save your roster after you've made any changes. From the Roster pull-down menu, click Save Roster. Type a file name for your class, this is my HIT 101 class, and click Save. This creates your roster spreadsheet that is saved to your class folder that you can access here. You can copy and paste information from your school's roster directly into your HIT roster spreadsheet. There are other automated ways to build your roster, specifically useful for larger class sizes where the students own their remote. From the email option, this palette allows you to set up your email account so that if your students have an email account as well, they can email their roster information and Analyzer can automatically mine this information to the roster. FYI, if you do utilize the email feature, you can send all your students their individual grades report with a single mouse click using this feature. The roster is very flexible and there are different formats you can use based on how you want to use the system. If you have WebCT or Blackboard, you can give your students a quiz asking the information you'd like to include in your roster and the results can be directly loaded using this format. If you add a screen name to your roster, select this. It is especially useful if the remotes stay in your classroom, and if you individually number them, it'll replace the last three digits of the remote ID box in acquisition with the screen name. To view and manage student points, click on the Student Points tab. Here you can view each student's grades in percents and fractions. If you click on total points, you can sort the grades high to low or low to high. This is a handy feature so you can easily see who's falling behind. I see Alex here doesn't look like he's doing so well. If I click his name, I can see the question, the correct answer, and Alex's answer. I can see here he answered all the questions this day, but then didn't show up to the next two classes. I better check up on Alex. Now go back to student points. You can also sort by name, which makes it easy to sort by your gradebook. In addition, reports can be formatted to match your gradebook or student management system. This is done from options, export points. 
This palette allows you to set up your grades report many ways. I'm going to set up a grades report that includes column headings with only my student names and total percentage, not fractions. Now let's see what the report looks like. Click on Export to File. I'm just going to save it as the default. And then let's go find it. Open it. And there's your grades report. It's that easy. There's a lot more options, and you can find details in the help guides and, soon, videos for grading and reporting your students' performance, available at hit.com. Here's a few more tips. From the student responses window, we can see each question asked and which answer each student gave. This data is more informational for educational purposes, but it's easily used by corporate customers for voting applications where yes, no, and abstain are the desired data. Now click on the question analysis tab. You'll see a histogram from the acquisition session and a detailed time analysis tied to right and wrong answers. This data can be used for advanced analysis and studies where response times and right-wrong answers are being evaluated. Now you've learned the basics on how to assign and modify correct answers from the answer key window, build the roster with many options using roster tools, and report student grades formatted for your every needs. Thanks for watching.